Hey there, and welcome to another monthly fabric video. I'm Haley, and I'm the pattern designer here at Seamwork. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Ani trousers and the Pauline skirt from the August 2021 issue of Seamwork magazine. I'll show you a peek at the patterns, and then we'll talk all about the fabric and what to look for. The Ani trousers are a total wardrobe staple with a taper fit and pleats at the front. You'll learn how to sew a bunch of classic trouser details like slash pockets, welt pockets, and belt loops. This pattern has a really easy method for installing a zipper fly and a hook and bar closure, so it's perfect for picking up some new sewing skills. Medium to heavyweight fabrics such as twill, suiting, linen, and linen blends, and also canvas are going to work really well for this pattern. For this photo sample, I used a cotton twill from Bolt Fabric here in Portland. Twill fabrics like this have built-in flexibility and durability due to the weave, making it an ideal option for these pants. Pauline is a midi-length straight skirt that can be easily dressed up or down. A princess seam opens to a vent at the front and the hem hits just below the knee. This skirt is a great staple for work or an everyday casual silhouette. Medium weight woven fabrics such as linen, denim, chambray, rayon, cupro, or tensile work really well. For this photo sample, I used a printed linen. The soft drape of the linen gives the skirt a casual look that's perfect for everyday wear. The member bonus for the Pauline skirt transforms the silhouette by adding gathers to the waistline. For this photo sample, I used a printed rayon chalet to show off the soft silhouette created by the gathers. If you're a fan of the texture that gathers create but aren't a big fan of that added volume, I suggest using a drapey fabric like rayon or tensile to create a flowing silhouette. This month's pattern hack transforms the Pauline skirt into a faux wrap style skirt. I love a faux wrap because it tends to feel a little bit more secure than a traditional style wrap. For this photo sample, I used a yarn dyed cotton from the Warp and Weft collection by Ruby Star Society. This fabric is gauzy and smooth, but has a lovely, easy to work hand. And I think it strikes that perfect balance of structure and softness for this pattern. There you have it, all the fabrics we used for Ani and Pauline. Be sure to check out the Ani Sew Along over in the Seamwork classroom where I'll be teaching you how to sew these classic pants. I'll be covering all the tricky steps like the zipper fly and the welt pockets. So if pants overwhelm you, this class is perfect for you. I hope you are feeling inspired to sew your next project. I'm curious, are you team skirt or team pants? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time and happy sewing.